Okay, so we're going to talk about the future tense now. The future tense, as it name, its name implies, talks about things that will be happening in the future. So in English, usually we just say will and then the verb. So I will eat, I will go, I will talk, I will speak. All of these are future tense in Spanish. So anytime we would use will, we use the future tense. Um, we'll go into a few more uses later on. Uh, but let's learn the, the conjugations first. With the future and also with the conditional, which we'll learn later, tenses, we use the infinitive. So our example here is hablar. So we use the infinitive and then we add to it suffixes. So, for example, um, yo hablaré. That's the suffix for yo. Tú hablarás. Él Hablará. Ella hablará. Usted hablará. Nosotros hablaremos. Vosotros hablaréis. Ellos hablarán. Ustedes hablarán. So notice that the emphasis for all of these words goes right after um, the, the infinitive. So it's that very first syllable after the infinitive. So in most cases, it's the last syllable, which breaks our rule of the penultimate syllable, getting the accent. So those need a written accent, which is why they have it. E, as, a. Hemos, on the other hand, is two syllables, so that is the penultimate, so it doesn't need the, the written accent. Ice, on. Another thing that you've probably noticed is that these endings are actually the verb haber. So remember the present perfect tense that we learned about, where it was he comido, has comido, ha comido. Those ones all use the same endings except for vosotros, which is a little bit short. It's just ice instead of habéis. So that's the future tense conjugations. And it doesn't matter whether it's an AR or an ER or an IR verb. We always just use the infinitive and then add the suffixes. So once again, those are hablaré, hablarás, hablará, hablaremos, hablaréis, hablarán. And always make sure that both when you write it and when you say it, you're putting that emphasis on, on the syllable after the infinitive verb. Otherwise, uh, these will overlap with other tenses and, and they'll be difficult to understand. So always make sure that emphasis goes right, right at the end there of that longer word. So that's it for the future tense conjugations.